Hello, welcome to another Cycle Tech Review video. Today we have from Victoria some bright, lovely green airliners. Victoria airliners, specifically for gravel, because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of gravel this year. Um, don't know if you remember, if you remember previously, we've looked at the Effetto Mariposa uh, Space Invaders. They were red, rectangular. Um, would only fit in a, I think the minimum size was 40, 44 millimetres, something like that. Um, I put them in some Victoria Mezcals and they were great. I, I used them at the um, training round here. I could drop my pressure by about 10 psi, wasn't getting any rim strikes. Great. I mean, if you, if you were to punch and completely lose air, you can run them flat. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing it permanently, but in emergency, you could run them flat until you could sort yourself out. These Victoria Airliners, uh, these ones are specifically for gravel, they do mountain bike and, and road versions as well, are uh, slightly different. Um, so with these, they're much more, I don't know what you would call that shape, um, I don't know if you can see that there, uh, and they're bright green. <clears throat> and again, you, you fit these inside your tubeless, sorry if you're still running in the tubes, tubeless tyre, and they will soak up any impacts but not soak up your sealant. So you can still run sealant, this won't soak it up, but it will protect your rim. So when you get a big strike, because you're running lower pressures and maybe you're going down somewhere rocky, these will prevent the um, damage to your rim um, and, and hopefully still keep you going. I don't know if you can run them completely flat. I'll test that out and see how it goes. Um, it's a, um, a foam. I mean, if you think of the pool noodle, they're a lot smoother and a lot I think a bit, yeah, they're denser than a pool noodle. Um, so I'll have a look. I'll, I'll once I have a go at installing them, I'll do a little video and let you see how they get how they go on. The um, Effetto Mariposa ones weren't easy, um, I must admit, especially if you didn't uh, if you put them in with sealant already in the tire, then they became a real pain to uh, to get on. So I'll see how easy these go on. These are a lot narrower. Uh, than those so and it's one it is one size basically and, and you do um, that'll go from 31 to 40 31 to 40 millimeters okay 31 to 40 millimeter tires so and on the rim rim size so rim width up to 25 millimeters so we'll see how those go I mean I've been using 40 44s uh, for my um, racing recently and just general riding as well the 44s are great because obviously you've got that big pocket of air and something like the Mezcals especially in the summer they ride really nicely I mean they're, they're, they're a great tyre I really like them as well as the um, airliners we've got some of Victoria's uh, Toreno dry gravel tyres um, these are a I don't know if you can, I'll put, a, I'll put a close up so you can see what the tread actually looks like. But it's got a very fine, um, they're like mini hexagon, well they call them fish scale, and there's definitely, they've got like a direction to them. Um, these are a, let's have a look, these are a 38 wide, so a bit narrower than what I was riding before. Should look like they'd be nice and fast on dry courses and on tarmac as well. They've got like this, this fish scale. Um, towards the middle and then some nice quite big knobs on the side here so when you start to lean over you should get some grip, grip out of those um, so that's 700 by 38 C um, that'll be interesting so I'll pair these with the airliners um, I've, I've got some races this year um, some, some of the UCI gravel races coming up and they've also thrown in some of the universal sealant um, if you're not using tubeless off-road why aren't you <laughs> it, it does make a big difference i know some people can't get on with tubeless but honestly if if you're running off if you're riding off-road the, the ability to run lower pressures i mean forget about the fact that you've got the sealant that you can any any punches well i would say 80 percent 90 percent of the punches will, will seal with the sealant anything other than that sorry the neighbors just coming home you probably hear the kids in the background uh, anything that the sealant doesn't hit and maybe still you can use a, um, a worm or a bacon strip what you want to call it a plug um, to seal up that hole and that will sort the other 99.9% .9%. and then if you really are stuck and it's not sealing you can always go back to an inner tube um, so I mean I, when I ride I always carry a spare inner tube just in case 
haven't needed it yet because I've been sealing or, or the uh, the plugs are sort of the problem but yeah if, if you're riding off road I would go tubeless so I'll put a video up soon or I'll put some previews in on cycle tech review about the uh, the airliners just so you can get some technical details and stuff like that I'll also put something up on the uh, Trello dry gravels um, I think these these are the uh, I'm just trying to have a quick look they do like a reinforced sidewall one which um, where I am we've got a lot of flint uh, we live um, I live in an area that's predominantly chalk so you get a lot of flint so uh, when you're flying down especially sort of the rain gullies quite often you can get sidewalls cut um, they do a much lighter one I think I can't remember it might be just called the Toronto dry light um, and that's not got the sidewall protection but if you really want to go fast and speed your thing and you're confident that you're not going to get a sidewall cut then maybe you could go for those so I'll put um, previews of all that lot up uh, keep an eye out for them I'll also put a couple of images up so just so you can see the shape of these and what the tread actually looks like rather than me waving it around in your face anyway guys thanks very much keep an eye out I'll show you how to mount these and I'll put some reports on how these perform in the real world thanks for watching guys goodbye now